Hello everyone, here we are! Um... I don't know. Not quite sure what I think about this place. Uh, we've got Tetris blocks though. See? See? We're missing uh, the L block though, which is a little tragic. And the square block. Doubly tragic. Oh, there's a balloon. Really? The transparent folk. After a long travel, you arrive at a Strutting, Hugh Strutting portal. Transparent dragon scared people towards the portal. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh oh, we need to help save those people. That's. It's a little under my level. Like I'm missing something in the plot now. Seeing your mad skills, a second rainbow monster showed themselves into the tier with the people you were trying to rescue. We have, they have the chicken bun too. We need to get them. Because we'll the tear or tear and see what it's all about. Not that transparent after all. Hmm. All right, let's. Oh. Content? No, I, I, I don't want to do that right now, actually. Default village? Back to default village! I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm lost in time and space. I, I really, you know, we, we, killed, we killed the wizard? What, what's supposed to happen next? Ugh, game, game! All right. Oh snap! You've teleported us, but we still have too many quests to do. I wasn't expecting this story's content would get any updated any soon. My bad. I'll teleport you back to the Mount Temple in a second. Shall we proceed? Or right, let's keep going. Um. Are we keep an eye on those Wizards of the East Coast mages? Right, let's keep moving. I'm. What? Who? How? Er. I've lost the thrust of the game. But I, I guess we'll go visit the Wizards of the East Coast. Before heading north, you feel the presence of someone else inside the temple. What? Oh my god, who? what is it? Perception check. Whatever was hidden just appeared. Don't worry about Jews. I'm taking care of you. Just that. Care of us? How? You didn't even help us out that black mage. That wouldn't do much. You fought well, but the war isn't over yet, as you thought a few months ago. All right. Well, that explains my confusion. I've already played this campaign already on my device. I was about to start a whole new story. There's no time for new stuff, my master. I need to handle this bigger problem right now. This is such a weird situation. Yeah. Meet me at the Wizards of the East Coast. Have you go this time? That's not what's happening. Oh, Black Mage can travel through worlds, right? When he did it, he ruptured a magical seal between our worlds. It's not even safe anymore, as the seal doesn't even exist anymore. I hire a powerful source of magic behind all this, and the Black Mage was just his henchman. Hire and powerful source of magic. Guess we're doomed. That's the spirit, cleric! There's that faith we always depend on you for. Continue on to the wizards. Mm -hmm. oh, I should stop there and look for loot. Ah, so many things I could be collecting. So here we are. Yep. Here we are. Cultists, level thirty-two cultists. Oh, are we gonna fight Nyanathotep, or maybe Cthulhu, or Shab Niggereth, or uh, Azatoth? I, I'm happy with almost any of them. Or maybe, maybe, Cthulhu will be our hero. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, that was a great game. Cthulhu saves the world. Uh, all you must know is that you can't undo the summoning. Pepe Roll will finally come to an end! 
portal summoning. Good change of the rules already started. Change. End of the world. What a time this is not an interview. They have it any time now. Any second. Any moment. It could be today, could be tomorrow, could be in five seconds. The evil is about to join us. We hold the almighty power. Okay. Uh, slice. <coughs> Aw. Resist divine. That's cheating. Oh well, I'm still dead though. Very dead. We killed the cultists! Mm -mm. I suppose this does make sense. There's always a new and greater villain behind your first villain. And quite often, no warning about that villain. Just, you're like, hey, I defeated the evil guy. Oh, there's actually this other completely random evil guy. Switch it according to the Maya calendar. Today is the last day. Alright. Cool. Guess we go to the mysterious portal. I this some please explain. You must be curious. You want to start getting beaten, you get to start talking. You finally open the portal. Oh, this is one of the problems, of course. When you are running a game, is that you may find all your players jumping in, trying to get their own little quips and quirks and words in, and then you're like, well, uh, how do you respond to it all? Ooh, it's a portal exit. Now, a pen and paper world will be destroyed by devious creatures from different planes and dimensions. And even through time as well, you can't handle all the haters. We have played the creators once, but now we are playing the evil players. Be prepared. All your evil worlds, all your evil thoughts, all your evil reviews have been transformed into a physical type of evil. If you want to see yourself to the portal, also known as the Large Hate Collider. <laughs> oh, I love it! Wonderfully done. So, what are you willing to do? Do we even have an option? I can't find the portal on the map. I'll just put you there. Yay! Thank you, useful GM. Cool. That's a portal, all right. Where am I? Oh, all right. Well, this is an exit-only portal. Damn one-way portals. All right, well, let's. Something's about to happen. Lay it on me. It's a royal jam. A chubacabra, Mr. Kuka. The Pombagira. Well, let's start with a royal jam. Looks active, but there's no evil forces coming through it. Maybe those cultists were playing with you? Maybe not. What if we get closer? Yeah, if I've learned anything from from stars, portals to other dimensions never turn out badly. Mm -hmm. Now, since there's nothing else to do around here, <gasps> rolls dice. Rolls dice. Yeah, I think I have all the monsters in my mind. Sometimes my books help continue the adventure. Ah, uh, lame. Seven royal jam. I guess we'll fight three Royal Jam to start. That seems like a good way to start things. Hey, no helping him. No healing. That's right. Then you get the double strike. There's a lot of there's a lot of ooze monsters that you, you may come across in D and D. So I guess the royal jam. I mean, there's the black pudding. That's that's one of them. Gelatinous cubes. Oh, it looks like there's a skull. Actually, you can kind of vaguely make out. 
neat. a little low on life. I should do something about that. Next time at least. There we are. You. Yay! Three down. Might as well camp out in front of the horrible Doom and Zay portal, right? What else do we have here? Now that I take a moment. That looks like the tower from Dragon Ball Z. Hmm. Speaking of, I do enjoy it. It's Universe 2 and. Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, and... Oh, when I was young. And I was first seeing Dragon Ball Z. How it inspired. And regeneration! And definitely concussive blows. shield. Probably quite conceivably the first anime I ever watched. And I, I deeply, deeply enjoyed it. Of course I was at that age where I enjoyed that kind of show. Not a big surprise. Yay, concussions! Of the best of weapons! Hmm. Uh, let's go with the circle of healing on everybody. Uh, fire should kill him fine next turn. Oh yeah, I got this in, in the bag. Yay! Oh. Speaking of, Xenoverse 2, giant missed opportunity there for, for storyline. They It was basically a repeat of the first game. What they could have done... What they should have done. In the first game, the villains... And, yeah, you know, I guess I may be sweating. Whatever, I don't care. The first game, I want to write about this. The, you know, the villains, what they do is they go back in time and they help the other villains win their bat, try to, to win battles to throw off time, right? There's another way you could have done this. They could go back in time and help the heroes. Because the point of what they were trying to do, they just want to disrupt the proper flow of time. Bad guys didn't need to win. The heroes winning where they should have lost is just as disruptive to the timeline, right? <clears throat> like, um... What's what's an example? Um... So I have Dragon Ball Z here. Um, if they had, uh... If they had helped out Goku and them against, um... Vegeta and Nappa when they first showed up so that no one died... The heroes would have never traveled to Namek. No, never traveling to Namek, Frieza would have gotten the Dragon Balls. Frieza becomes an immortal. Right? Their victory screws up later history. Right? Then you could have been like here's you know they could found all these mini arcs where you like you have to fight um, 
one of the problems farther down the timeline, right? Like, so this is, you know, this is the era where Frieza's in charge and mortal, you have to fight him, and then you go back a little bit, and then you're on Namek, where, where, you know, things are being ruined, and then you go all the way back until you get to that first disruption. You can do that for several different kind of, like, mini-story what-ifs. What if the heroes had won here instead of losing? That sort of stuff, rather than just the basic, oh, we'll just make the villains strong. Then, by the end of the game, you could have had the villains lead an attack against the the time-fixing heroes. Having gathered the heroes from all the all these previous things who just want to stop these people who are, as far as they can see, just trying to ruin their lives. Because they can't see the big picture. Alright? And then, of course, you could have your inevitable reveal where the heroes realize that, oh no, we've been taken for rubes, and you get to gang up and f fight the big bad villain and, and save the day and all that. But no, so many missed opportunities. Like, it's a game, it's a non canon game about time travel and alternate histories. You could have done so much. Oh. Hmm. Like, they almost did a great part where you. Where you should have had to fight where, like, Trunks wanted to interfere in the timeline and, and save things. Uh, oh, yeah, whatever. Just a rant. What are those made of hate? These were examples. As you can see, this, these creatures are huge monsters that usually battle in big cities versus giant robots. But they don't fit in this realm. This is a medieval fancy realm. What it shows that things will change from now on. Ooh, this new master knows what he's talking about. Okay, very clever. Your own NPC telling us to listen to yourself. Come on! Are you serious? Hmm. Should get away, should I? Unrecognizable life form level 42. Must use something for a chance to gain items. Level 42. You know what? Good thing I'm in the portal. Okay, look more, uh, look more of those ancient devious creatures. I need that poor thing. So macabre. Let's rescue that poor thing. Okay. Huh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Four waves, huh? I can do that. Easy as a, a pie that is easy to do. Mm. I should have fireballed. Mm -hmm. I should also fail raged. Now we can just slap it to death. One wave, easily done. Elixir. Ah! They are rats of unusual size. Okay. No special weaknesses. Can still be given a concussion. I guess that's all I really need to know. Though they did light my uh, my wonderful little wizard on fire. Or not my wizard, but my... My paladin. There you go, buddy. <laughs> you know, as long as they're coming only two at a time, no threat. Easily handled. Thank you. Alright. Mm, this episode's gonna go a little long. No, I'm going to take a break here. Uh, we'll see everybody soon.